All right, now at 630, while the city prepares to say goodbye to Officer Smith, those who live in North Columbus are trying to overcome the horror that happened one week ago. Now, just a few days ago, neighbors tell us West California Avenue has reopened. 10 TV's Brian Somerville tells us how this community is trying to move forward. When you least expect it, even in the most pleasant of neighborhoods, obstacles can set you back. This is not typical for Clintonville. Any given weekend, you can find Patrick Kenny outside. Yeah, when the weather's nice. Picking his bass guitar on his front porch. Definitely not. Last weekend. Uh, used to encountering this sort of thing. An obstacle his community still trying to overcome. Huge police and emergency vehicle presence. I recognize that something major was going on. Getting home last Saturday, Kenny was met by police near his apartment on West California Avenue. Showed him my ID and said I live here. And he said, you can't go back to your house. About the same time, across the street, Alex Roberts. I heard a megaphone, and I awoke to anarchy. And I thought I heard the phrase, drop your weapon, and I tapped my husband. I was like, hey, like, something's going on. Police knocked on her door, told her and her husband to leave. I just grabbed my wedding ring. I grabbed my phone, my purse. He grabbed his wallet, and we just left with the clothes on her back. Outside, she was met by an officer in full camo and a body shield. And he's like, no, like, literally, get behind me, had us crouch down and walked us backwards down the street. Out of harm's way before bullets started flying, before her neighbor, Lincoln Rutledge, allegedly shot at police, hitting officer Stephen Smith, and before her apartment building went up in flames. One week later, California Avenue is back open. Traffic runs a bit slower, driven by curiosity. I think they're as startled as anybody else that something like this would happen in Clintonville. Standing outside her apartment, um, Alex Roberts. I see. Sees devastation. Something that's not the way I remember it. It's not the way that it should look, but. An obstacle. I see something new for us. To overcome. Reminders mark the sidewalks of what a community lost. And that's been the part that I think has been on my mind the most. But more than pain, there's hope. Learning how to love people so when somebody else is going through a hard time, I know what to do now because I've been through one. To turn this obstacle into opportunity in North Columbus, Bryant Somerville, 10 TV News. And Robert says she and her husband, who celebrated their two-year wedding,